What is interesting of all the companies that responded, so this is born in the cloud SaaS companies plus software companies that now have SaaS. So all the questions were around, are you monetizing CS around SaaS? And you can see here that it's, it's bifurcated, right? About half the companies are, are doing it, half are not. And when you look at the broader industry, and this is very highly aligned with what we have in our customer success database, when you, when you look at, um, in general, company profiles, you kind of get this bifurcation, about half the companies are doing it, half are not. Um, and then when you look at monetizing um, technical support, right, are people you know, doing that? We also tested on that about 82% of the companies are, are, are doing it. So we actually are doing a better job of monetizing technical support than we are our CS motion. So we, we've conditioned customers that they should be paying for that. What's interesting here is that traditional software companies are more likely to be monetizing technical support than the SaaS companies. We also know that traditional software companies are actually doing a better job of monetizing CS as well. So the important thing to understand here, right, is that services are being monetized around SaaS, right? So if you're in a company right now and you're debating this and you're saying, gosh, nobody charges for any CS motion, nobody charges for technical um, you know, support, that's not true. It is fundamentally not true. Your customers are paying for value-add service activities from other SaaS providers.